<laughs> Before we hop into the video, Insta360 is doing a bit of a Christmas giveaway on my Instagram so you guys can win uh, Insta Go To camera. So all you need to do is head over to my Instagram, check out the giveaway post. All you need to do on the post, basically to just subscribe to my YouTube channel, tag two friends in the giveaway post and follow Insta360 on their Instagram. So you have all the info on the on the Instagram post there and uh, yeah, just enter it if you want to have the chance to win one of these bad boys for for Christmas. Winner will be announced on December 23rd, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Let's get back to the video. I'm back in Sweden again. Uh, I've been in Barcelona. That was sick, uh, but now I'm home, as you can see. And by the time of the title of this video, you already know what we're gonna do today. I'm with Theo, and we Hi. are gonna... <laughs> Today me and Theo are gonna play a bit on these two bikes here. This is a stock complete Camdale Dave bike and we are gonna compare it to the same bike as both me and Theo have, which is a custom built Cannondale Dave. So we are gonna do a bit of a comparison video. We're gonna ride the stock bike. We actually already did an intro with this. Uh, me and Theo did a challenge. We wanted to build <laughs> the bike as quick as possible. We did it in 11 minutes, but the filmer <coughs> behind the camera there <laughs> forgot to put the microphone on, so uh, we have to redo this again. So you're gonna have to watch us build a bike without audio, but maybe that's just better for people so they don't yeah, hear yeah, our yeah. banging and, and like <laughs> power tools and like. <laughs> but 11 minutes, quite impressive in my opinion. Jingle them bells and frolic. Oh my gosh, some stolly eggnog. Gin and tonic make you tight, gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. A toast to him, that red nose dear. Jingle them bells and frolic. It's the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. I'm loaded. We did actually uh, realize that uh, the bar is 800 something, so we gotta take it down so we can do bar spin. So it's the best of seasons. Come and raise your glass and sing. No need for other reasons. Glory. Maybe it's just good that you, we don't have audio for that because we're just like banging on everything and just... <laughs> this is the complete bike. Me and Theo built it with uh, everything else than love in 11 minutes. We are gonna cut to the skate park. We're gonna talk a bit about like all the geeky stuff about all the weights, all the differences, compression and all the stuff people want to know, right? So uh, yeah, just cut to the skate park. We're in the skate park now. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit why and what are the differences between the bikes. Uh, obviously, the custom bikes are built after my preferences and my needs. And uh, the main difference would probably be the weight. I mean, this bike is probably around, like it's not below 10, but it's very close to like 10 even. And this one would be, I'd say two kilos, three kilos heavier, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's obviously a really, really, really big uh, like factor when you ride slope style and need to like do tricks and stuff. But other than that, I would probably say like just your own preferences. I got a gyro on this bike so I can spin however many times I want. And also like all the stiffnesses in the wheels, fork and cranks and stuff like that. So these are obviously a bit more high performance parts, but at the same time, like these are obviously really, really good stock parts. You can like do, we're gonna show you guys today that you can literally do what we do on these, but Theo is just <laughs> looking like he's gonna die when I said that we're gonna do the same things on both bikes. Should we get to it? I'm gonna throw Theo out first and you're gonna have to do nah, that. <laughs> we're gonna start Thank with uh, just comparing. I wanna see a normal tail whip on your bike mm. and then I wanna see a tail whip on this bike because you hate to do tail whips and it's good to have you back in the videos again. <clears throat> yeah. How does it feel to yeah, be back yeah, in the videos? So is it good or is it like... Hell yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Good start, good start. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, that hurt for real. Oh. Yeah, I bet. That looks like you. Straight <laughs> <laughs> to the elbow. Okay, now I feel kind of bad because he was like, please, can I just do it up the easy one? I'm like, nah, <laughs> we'll have to do it. Oh, so let's just restart this video. Yeah. You're gonna do a tail loop here, tail. Let's get it now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> that that's landed though technically. Maybe that was a very very bad pick to like ch like fill out the two I mean, bikes. Maybe. I mean, was, yeah. if you do land it now on this the that other bike, that means that you need to yeah, change maybe bikes. That, maybe that one's better. <laughs> that's my new bike. I'm gonna build a bike up for that. I don't know what you say, but maybe that was a very, very, very bad one to start with. I mean, he didn't uh, even get to go up a quarter pipe before he started doing tail whips on the... I was cold. I'm sorry. But no, I'm pretty, works. pretty sure that 99.999% people percent of the people that are watching love to watch you die a little bit. Yeah. Psychopath. It's good to have you back in the videos. <laughs> The first thing I usually do when I get here is like whip taps and bar taps. Should I do both a bar tap and a whip tap on it to see how many tries is that gonna take? Yeah. First impression is probably that it's a lot heavier to do a tail loop. Like honestly, like it feels heavier when it, you do the trick, but it still works and it goes around. But the bar spin, you don't really feel that much of a difference since it's just like you're just standing here and like not moving around any weight. Because as I said, like most of the weight is probably in the wheels and in the cranks, and it's heavier on tail loops. Oh, maybe the 11 minute bike build wasn't good enough. I think we forgot to tighten the bars and stuff because that was definitely a bit of a bar movement there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's on me. <laughs> if, you, if you guys heard the audio from that, you would have screamed in your homes when you saw that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it felt pretty good, actually. Yeah, okay, oh. let's see a truck then. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think you forgot the 360. Oh no, oh, okay, I'll do it now. Boy! That looked proper. It was pretty, pretty okay. Actually. Did, it, did it feel like the normal one? I mean, not really, but and mine, a lot heavier. But. Minus these. Oh, oh shit! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you! It, it actually feels kind of similar to my bike. Obviously the geometry is the same. Uh, I feel the flex a lot more, like I feel the flexing in the wheels and the fork a lot and the cranks as well a lot more than I do on my bikes. So I think that's the main difference for me. Like every time I go up a transition or pump a little bit, I feel like kind of that little sink, like doesn't sink as good as the, my other bike because it's a lot more stiff. So, I've, I mean, it's just details like that that is gonna make a big difference if you like decide to do a custom bike instead of a stock bike. If you're not that picky and you're not like thinking about stiffness in materials and stuff like that. 
then you should probably go for one of these. But I don't know if I should say one is better than the other. Like obviously there's there's more expensive parts on the custom bike, but this works as this a works rookie like, bike or maybe yeah i mean even you saw us do tricks on these so you, <clears throat> you can obviously do tricks on these as well it's just ah! give me a backflip it's your time to work today mm. i'm here for, to film for my other video you're here to do a comeback in the videos and here you go you picked the worst one to do a comeback at. <laughs> what are you doing with my new bike oh no <laughs> The thing is that I am gonna build this one up to my custom bike. We're just doing this video so you because obviously a lot of you guys are thinking about buying the complete Dave and uh, yeah we basically just wanted to show you guys that it's a well worth bike but obviously I know that people want to customize people want to do that 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 for their own preferences but you could definitely get this bike and just go out and have a good session so uh let me see that flip boy i'm teal i want to do a speed check uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> i was kind of okay i guess Oi. i got the ultimate test for spinning uh since you are like I know this is a very, very crucial trick for like pop, snap and rotation and you want to time it perfectly. You're good at cork sevens, so maybe you oh can... No. <laughs> I mean like that's oh a no. very, very like fragile oh trick no. to begin with. <laughs> maybe you can try one in a foam pit and see if it's going to time the same oh as no. this one does. So you mean I got a cork seven that rat nest? <laughs> if you land upside down you might be rat food but... Not straight seven? No, I want to see a corky. <laughs> Oh no, the rats! <laughs> rats! Oh! First impression, other than you're scared of the rat. I mean, if I were stronger, maybe that would have worked. Is it just like a I weight? I think it's a bit heavier, yeah. Is it just because of the weight that yeah. felt weird? Let's yeah, see yeah. one. Let's see one on the real bike. Sure. Oh yeah. Maybe people. Oh, the rats! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe people at home Ooh. didn't see that, but that would have been perfect to a dirt landing, so yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll give you that. Let me call you out. No, well, well, well. I want to see seven, but with the bar spin. What do you mean with the bar spin? Straight seven, bar spin. I mean, that's, that's your, like, cork seven. Ooh. Oh my god, a foam pit! Oh, watch out for the rat. <laughs> no, this is literally flat ground here. Look. Yeah, it's the rest. It's not. How do you go that high from a cork sev and not break your ankles? Dude. That was a horrible sev beast, but I still got around, kind of. I would have. Yeah, yeah. And a contest, you just hold on for your life, anyways. Do I really have to do this to you? Like, uh, yeah. I mean, you don't have contest now. You got I got the projects, that's why. <laughs> sev beast coming in. Oh! oh. Dude! <laughs> I think I compressed my back. Oh no. <laughs> if this was mid season, I would never ever do this, but I'm done now. Not really. That's way more it than I ever had in my whole life to do, but I that's why the videos have been slacking a little bit. Because I've been hella busy with good stuff. So, as you could see, that was a lot more heavy. Or was it even? You did it pretty good, to be honest. It was it's a yeah, good just attempt. Wrong pop, wrong yeah. everything, but Sir? I think people get it. She would just see, like, we don't need to do the compression thing anymore. She would just see if we can do some tricks we normally do in the videos, like... I always do four, five forties for the vids, because I love to do them. Oh! No! Oh, no! Oh. Oh, straight elbow! Straight elbow and... Oh. Ah, you straight. ended up as I started. Oh, elbow and asshole. No. No cheeks. Straight asshole. And, 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 I do that all the time, every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Simon is looking hella angry because we need to film for my video. For all the subscribers, I'm trying to make a movie over here. <laughs> he this ass. fool out here landing ass, no cheeks. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Stop. Well, Stop. Because of pure safety precautions, I officially declare myself 
done with this video. So we're gonna leave it over to Teo now. You can do one too. You've been practicing on Dude. One. <laughs> well, I guess we're putting the bike to some real abuse before I can even build it up as being my winter bike, but... Me and Tia are kind of like experienced bike riders. I don't feel like it's really fair for us to just hop on a bike and just do tricks, because obviously we're just gonna do them because we know them into our spine. He knows how to do bar spins and stuff, so we're gonna see if he can just hop on this bike and do it himself. But I say yes, he can. It's just about this. And to add, I don't ride one of these every day like Tio does. And you do. What do you mean, bikes? No, a Cannondale. Yeah, this is a completely new one for him, so it's gonna be like horrible for him to even do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did I go? He thinks that we're just gonna include the one that he lands, but we're actually gonna keep everything <laughs> in there. <laughs> <Yeah! Ooh! laughs> This whole video, I just thought about it. This is probably like looking like, oh, look at this. This is the best thing ever. But it's just literally just to show people that you can do whatever you want. Like you can get one of these and have fun. You don't need to have like, oh, I need that because it's two grams lighter than that. You know, just get a bike, go out, ride. You can do tricks on them. To sum everything up, obviously I'm gonna stick with my bike because it got all my like sponsor parts on and all the hand-picked things that I need for my bike riding. But as I've said already, like this one works perfectly fine for anyone to do tricks on. So people that are kind of like negative about getting a complete bike and they just want to build it from scratch, I'd say that it's almost better to get a complete bike and then change out parts when you're on the go. Like kind of like if something breaks down or if like you just feel like you need an upgrade. So uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. It was good to see Theo back in action and get to work a little bit. My swell boy is completely ruined right now and I'm about to start filming for my video project that is gonna come out right before the new year. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, leave a comment if you wanna see Theo get to tail whip camp with me. Don't forget to enter that giveaway on Instagram and then now you can leave the video and subscribe and like and all of that, you know. Good work, too. Good work, Max. Good work. Good work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.